Drive a Volvo one day, a Honda Element the next day, and any other make and size of a car any time you choose without actually owning it. Sounds like somebody's fantasy, doesn't it? Yet, it is actually possible in 10 American cities as well as London and Toronto. A U.S. company called Zipcar lets you rent a car by the hour. I can tell my friends, well, I don't own a Mini, but I drive a Mini, <laughs> and that's close enough for me. <laughs> Kim Burns, who manages a retail store in downtown Washington, D.C., is one urban dweller who has signed up for this new driving experience. She is pleased to jump into a Mini Cooper when public transportation just won't do. Elise Perez is the regional vice president of Zipcar. She explains that becoming a member of the service starts with submitting a driver's license and goes from there. It's very easy to become a Zipcar member. You join and you get one of our beautiful Zip cards. This gives you access to all of our cars all over the United States, Canada and the UK. Without new technology, this business wouldn't be possible. The Zip card is a radio frequency device that lets the car recognize the driver and unlocks the door. The driver finds and reserves the car on the internet. You can come down and select your city. Then uh, just show it. up where it's parked and drive off. Zipcar is approaching 200,000 members and uses 5,000 vehicles. Its success has drawn the attention of other American rental companies to think about this business of car sharing. Sarah Wagner is the regional marketing manager for the company. Well, you only pay for the car when you use it. Um, if you think about how much it costs to maintain a car for a whole year, and then you think about all the time that your car is just sitting there not being used, um, you're paying a lot of money for it not to be used a lot of the time. Zipcar charges about $10 an hour, including insurance and gas. This competes with moving around by taxi. Another thing that makes the concept popular is that the cars are parked all over town. A lot of people call us or email us as well if they have a parking space that they no longer need for their own personal use or for their business use and they'll call and ask if we want to rent it from them. One downside to the cost of renting a car like this it's really important to bring the car back on time. There's a $50 an hour late fee for every hour that you are late in returning the car. It's a lot, but it's there so that people aren't out on your time, yeah. you know, gallivanting around the city. Vincent McCory, VOA News, Washington.